This special program is brought to you by Southern California Toyota dealers. We make it easy. Less than a month ago, before Manny Pacquiao versus Juan Manuel Marquez Part 4 at Linggo Linggo po dito sa Kababayan LA, patuloy po kami naghahatid ng mga balita at mga kwento tungkol sa bakbakang iyan. This Manny Pacquiao fight special is brought to you by MoneyGram. Para masigurado ang remittance mo ngayong Pasko, MoneyGrado sa MoneyGram. It is one of the hottest, most controversial rivalries in the history of world boxing. That's what observers are saying about Filipino boxing champion and congressman Manny Pacquiao and his longtime arch nemesis, Mexican fighter Juan Manuel Marquez. Todd Duboff of Top Rank compares this matchup to other boxing face-offs that landed boxing greats in the Hall of Fame. I'll start back in 1915 from the oldest one, Jack Britton, Ted Lewis, 20 fights. Gene Tunney, Harry Greb, 5 fights. Bo Jack, Bob Montgomery, 4 fights. Sugar Ray Robinson, Jake LaMotta, 6 fights. Sadler, Pep, 4 fights. Jersey Joe Walcott, Ezra Charles, 4 fights. Bo Jack, Ike Williams, 4 fights. Sugar Ray Robinson, Gene Fulmer, four fights. Bobby Chacon, Bazooka Limon, four fights. Joey Giardello, Dick Tiger, four fights. Azuma Nelson, Leha, four. And Israel Vasquez, Rafael Marquez, four. And so after 36 close rounds, Pacquiao versus Marquez part four was set for December 8th in Las Vegas. Each of the fighters insists he won the last three fights and vows to knock out the other next month at the MGM Grand to erase all doubts. The people say, why again? Why again Pacquiao? And I said, because I want to prove who's better. And I, I, want, I want the referee to raise my hand. Yeah, I, will, I will ready to, be, to win again. Because I don't like, I don't like the, 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 judges, the, the, the judges' the decision. I don't like because everybody knows what happened in the last three fights. There are so many people asking um, if really I will, I, I won the fight, and I said yes, um, I won the fight, and no doubt. And Marquez claiming that he won the fight, so uh, I think something wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, Pacquiao said uh, he not come me, and uh, I, I said I not come, not come Pacquiao, not come out. But, but this is this is the, this the, uh, this is the most important because the people watching another great fight, another great fight, and uh, and the people the people said yes yes this is another great fight because he wants to win and I want I, I want to win. To make it short, in, yeah, to make it short, not not uh, not to, to get um, to put the, the the doubt again in the mind of the fans. So. I want to to show the Manny Pacquiao, the old Manny Pacquiao, the, when I was um, 25 and 24 years old, the, the the hungry Manny Pacquiao to fight in the ring. So uh, please watch, please watch. But not everyone's looking forward to the fight. Boxing writer Steve Kim talks about fatigue over the rivalry. The game of boxing needs fresh matchups. Even with Manny Pacquiao, I think that. There is now what I would call consumer fatigue over this. And I think in realistic perspective, this has been a great historic robbery. I've been at every single round of it. But, and I'm talking to Freddie about it, this much is true. The fights have gotten a little bit less exciting. They, they, they remain competitive and drama-filled. But in terms of the pure action, they almost know each other so well. So I, I would say that you're right. I think there's a public demand. I think there's a natural built-in fan base for both fighters and in general. But you're right, if you canvass the opinions on the internet, I think people do want to see another matchup. I think you're going to see another fight with a lot of controversy. I mean, I've talked to Freddie Roach about this for weeks and months at a time. He never wanted this fight. He felt this is a very tough fight. Every fighter, no matter how great, um, and they could be better in ability and they could be ranked higher historically. It's like Ollie Norton. Uh, certain fighters are going to be that bugaboo. 
for the other. And, you know, Marquez is certainly a Hall of Famer, but he is certainly that all lead to his Norton in the sense that they could fight 50 times, and I think we'd have 50 close controversial fights. Four-time trainer of the year and Pacquiao coach Freddie Roach also admitted to not being excited about the fight when it was first announced. Although, he adds, Pacquiao said something that changed his mind. You know, I, I, was, uh, I was kind of going to the Bradley fight or, or Mayweather before this, but uh, the thing is, um, the way Manny's talking, I, I like what I hear, and uh, um, so we, we're here and we'll get ready for the fight. I mean, my job is to get him ready for whatever is in front of us, and that's what we're going to do, but the thing is, he has the same uh, game plan I do, is to bring back the old Manny Pacquiao and uh, fire, throw, throw punches and fire put this guy not down three times, put him down four times this time. So uh, he's, he, know, he says I need a knockout to win, and uh, that's a fact. Uh, I know that too, and he knows that. So as long as we're both on the same page, I'm very happy. Meanwhile, eight-division world champion Pacquiao says he has an idea why his fans don't want to see him fight Marquez again, but also offers his Kababayans a word of assurance. Kinakabahan kasi del ano eh uh, close fight talaga yung fight namin ni Marquez at uh, um, simple yung fight ko kasi fight din ng mga sambayan ng buong sambayan ng Pilipino so worried din sila but uh, this time uh, gagawin natin ng ating makaya pray lang tayo sa Panginoon at siya ang bahala all things are possible with God Manny Pacquiao fight special is brought to you by MoneyGram. Para masiguradong remittance mo ngayong Pasko, MoneyGrado sa MoneyGram. This special program is brought to you by Southern California Toyota Dealers. We make it easy.